Okay, if you watch the heart disease video, you know I spoke of a certain type of cholesterol test that we do in this office. I call this the cholesterol myth. Look, every doctor out there is running total cholesterol. Why? Just to sell more statin drugs. I can't tell you to come off of those drugs, but I can tell you to educate yourself. This test will save your life. This is the test that we do in this office. This is the test I teach all my doctors to do in their office. This is looking at not the total cholesterol, however, it is looking at the particle number of cholesterol. It does actually measure your total, and the interesting thing to note is a lot of people who have high cholesterol have a normal particle number of cholesterol, and yet some people that have a low cholesterol have a high particle number of cholesterol, which actually puts you at risk. So you see, just because you have high cholesterol doesn't mean you're at risk for heart attack. Just because you have low cholesterol doesn't mean that you're not at risk. Matter of fact, more people with normal cholesterol have heart attacks than people with high cholesterol. I bet your doctor didn't tell you that. But let me teach you this test that'll save you and your family's life. Because it's a test that I run in my heart disease profile, among other tests that show inflammation, like a PLA2 test, a C-reactive protein test, homocysteine test, and I run the also, this is called an NMR test. N as in Nancy, M as in Mickey Mouse, R as in Ralph, NMR. So anyways, I want to teach you this because it will save your life. Okay, look at this. This circle is a particle of uh, a, a particle that carries the cholesterol. So here you have a particle carrying a little bit of cholesterol, so that would be low cholesterol. And this is the total cholesterol that someone like your doctor would typically be measuring. This particle is carrying a lot of cholesterol, so then that person would have what? High cholesterol. Okay? But what we said is the total doesn't matter. It's the number of particles that matters. Now let me give you a great example here. If we look at a car, look at the car as the particle that carries the cholesterol, which is the people in the car. So let me say that again. The car is the particle that carries the people, which represent the cholesterol. So if you had a car with one person, that would be someone with what? Low cholesterol. So if you had a car with five people in it, that would be someone with high cholesterol. Now, let me ask you a really important question. What matters in a traffic jam? The number of people in the cars or the number of cars? So hopefully you followed me enough to say, well, the number of people in the cars is irrelevant. Well, of course it is. The number of cars is what matters. Same with you. In other words, it's the particle, the number of particles that matters, not the number of people in the, uh, the cars that represent the cholesterol. So, the more particles you have, the worse it is, the worse a traffic jam would be, right? The less particles you have, the better. So that's what matters. We do not care how many people or how much cholesterol. We care about the number of particles, the particles that carry the cholesterol. That'll save your life. And there's one other thing that matters. The size of the particle matters. And let me show you this. This is an artery. You, can, you love my graphics here and my great artistic ability. This is Pictionary ability. See that car? I learned that in Pictionary. Uh, the faster you draw, the better. But anyways, this is an artery. These bigger circles are the particles. The bigger particles do not cross into the luma or the arterial wall. However, these little small ones, and I don't know if you can see these dots, but these little small ones can penetrate inside the luma. They cause inflammation of the arterial wall. By the way, I ask this always to my audience, what is the true cause of heart disease? It's not cholesterol, it's inflammation. Now the oxidation of cholesterol does matter. So these little particles get inside the arteries and they cause oxidation and inflammation, which can cause placking. And then the plaque can crack. And if the plaque cracks and it forms an, uh, forms an emboli, that travels through your bloodstream, and if it goes to your heart, you have a what? A heart attack. If it goes in your brain, you have a stroke. But again, the inflammation is what causes it. The smaller particle size of the cholesterol can cause that oxidation and inflammation, and also the more particles you have. So if we get this test done, now we can give you a specific treatment that works, and it's not drug-related. It's lifestyle changes. Yes, there's certain supplements that work very well here, better than any drug. This test will save your life. I hope that helps.